Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today we are going to tear up some bases. I'm going to show you guys these replays that I recorded earlier live in a clan war. So this was a pretty easy clan war, so the pressure was off. And that's always like a good thing right there, you know, once you take the pressure off, you tend to do better. In high pressure wars, I'll usually get like one good raid and one not so good raid. And this war, it didn't really matter what happened, so I did great. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, that happens every time. If I really need to get the stars, I might fail. I feel like I have like a 50-50% chance, you know? So anyways guys, here's the raid. We're gonna go in here and take out the enemy Archer Queen, one of the air defenses, and of course the enemy clan castle. And then we're just gonna overpower this base. I mean, this base is a prime suspect to get hit with Lava Loon. It's got a lot of variations, like this same wall layout. A lot of people change the, the buildings around in it, but pretty much no matter how it's set up, it can be three-starred. Uh, especially if you have a good setup like we did. So we have most of our troops just going on the bottom right side. We threw a few balloons on the bottom left to go in there and take out that one other air defense. So now we're going to have most of the air defenses taken out. We've already got, basically after that one, we only have one left. Then we're going to rage through the core, freeze the other side of the core again, and boom, this core is done. Toast. We've got so many balloons in there, it doesn't stand a chance. Now we saved a few balloons to distract the wizard towers. This is really important. At first, when I started doing this army, I dropped all my troops every time. And if you save a few troops, I'm going to talk about this a lot, I know, but... If you save a few troops, it's so worth it. Uh, it's, it'll really help you get the three star. So, you know, maybe save four or five balloons. It, at the time, it's going to seem like, well, I'd like to drop them at the beginning. But don't. Save them. They're much better. So, air traps are coming after me now. This is getting really close. Um, wow, yeah. I forgot to talk about that, but that was really, really close. Okay, I had a few balloons left, and they were dying fast. I knew I wasn't going to get it, but I had one wizard and a couple goblins. So I slowly dropped the goblins to distract the uh, archer tower, and then dropped the wizard. The wizard took out the archer tower, and boom, saved the day. Now we have no balloons left, and we still have some air traps that are coming after the lava pups. This is serious. This is the real deal right here. This is like down to the wire. At this point in the raid, I was so nervous. I was like... Oh my god, like, even though, as I said, it's not a serious raid, you know, it's not a serious war, it's serious to me because I wanted to get the three stars. Once you're this close, if you don't get the three stars, you're going to be mad. So that red number starts blinking at the top, 30 seconds, 29, 28, and you're like, oh man, 97%. The wizard I had got blown up by a bomb, but at this point, I knew I had it. Yes! I mean, there's no more room for real traps to screw me up here. I had a goblin, I have a few, uh, a few lava pups, so boom, three stars. That was fun. So guys, whenever you see that base, depending on how it's laid out, you can 3-star it similarly to the way I did. Uh, go in there, take out the Archer Queen, Air Defense, and Clan Castle all at once. Um, depending on if you use one or two golems, with two you might be able to take out even more. You might be able to get in there and take out an Expo in the core. I've actually done that before and it worked pretty good. I mean, but I prefer to have more Lava Hounds personally. You'll notice that I only use one golem lately, and that's just personal preference. So here we're going to go in on this bottom left corner. We're going to try to get in here and uh, take out the um, Arch Queen as well as an air defense. We're not really going to be concerned with that single Inferno because it's a single Inferno. It's not really going to do much to me. Um, you'll notice this video was lagging just a little bit, but I think the rest of the video should be okay after this point. Um, we're going to get the Barb King in here. I used the Barb King ability early, so his Barb swarmed around him. Because that will help him not get targeted quite as fast by the Single Inferno. Single Infernos are beast. Even if they're level 1, I mean, they will fry, absolutely fry your uh, in, your heroes. So even if they're maxed, they're worthless. So there we go. Uh, looks like we got the Clan Castle mostly taken out. Um, Arch Queen went around the side of the base and took out so many buildings. Uh, wow, we're still lagging a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. So we're going to go in here uh, from this side and basically take out that Inferno real fast. The other one, the single Inferno, not even a threat. I mean, you know, it's it's a tiny bit of a threat, but not much. Uh, now that we've taken out that multi, I'm pretty confident. So I saved one Lava Hound and a few balloons, as I always say. Save a few balloons for the opposite side. That Lava Hound is distracting the basically the most dangerous defense which is that wizard tower and then the rest of the balloons are just spreading out slowly dancing around the base gonna take everything out yeah so this was of course an easier base 
I mean, if I hadn't three-starred this, I would have been pretty mad. Um, I don't know why my recording was, was so bad today. It's kind of weird. It, it's uh, I use Air Server to, to record, and it's usually perfect. But it is reliant on your on your Wi-Fi connection, so maybe my Wi-Fi was bad that day. But anyways, guys, normally uh, my, <laughs> my recording's perfect, and I also have an Elgato, which I can record on if we need to. So, boom! Anyways, off topic there, but 100% again. Uh, so I got six stars this war which was pretty cool <laughs> I was psyched about that you know it doesn't happen every time uh, in easy wars it does like I said you know when the pressure's off that's when we do good when the pressure's on it's like you, know, you only get one shot so you're like oh I can't handle the pressure and you know sometimes you fail well I guess you get two shots but each shot you only have one shot for each shot so does that make sense? <laughs> Anyways, guys, it looks like we're tied here, so it looked like it was a close war, but it was not. We ended up getting 10, or actually 11 three stars, so they could not come back from that. Trust me. <laughs> so, decent war bonus, six stars, and another win for the clan. This ended up being our 140... 42nd or 40 first win something like that so yeah pretty awesome guys we're gonna be at 150 wins soon we're slowly leveling up the clan we're at level two already obviously so guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any comments about you know what happens to you in war if you win your first raid and lose your second or the other way around or if you usually get six stars let me know in the comments below i'm interested to hear so guys if you like this video leave me a like and a comment and if you haven't subscribed already please do Alright guys, see you next time. Peace.